Hi, it's Frances Pelischuk here from the Blog Launch, and today I'm going to show you how to create a blog header with Pixlr.com, the free online image editor. Start by creating a new image. We'll give it a name, blog header template. We're going to size it. Now, there's some preset dimensions, or you can choose your own. What I'm going to do is make it a popular size for most blog templates, 960 by 120 pixels. I don't want the background to be transparent in this case, so I am not going to check that option. Great. Now you can see the beginning of the header design. I'm going to save this right now as a PXD so that um, when you can, you can download this free on my blog, you can have all the layers and work with it for your project. Now, I'm going to open an image I picked out of my desktop here. Uh, I downloaded it a while ago from 123rf.com. And I'm going to use this for the basis of my header. Now, what I'd like to do is resize this image so that it will fit in a new layer on this blog header template. So I'm going to start by creating a new layer. See the layer? Now I'm going to call this pick one. It's going to be the first image in my blog header. Now I'm going to take this image here and resize it. Now, because it's the height of 120, I'm going to resize it at about 140. Now, let's drag it. That's all you have to do, generally, is... Um, okay, so let's go select all, edit, copy, We'll go back to our new layer that we created. Make sure that your new layer is selected. Pick one. Paste it. Bam! There you go. Now we'll bring this over to the right a bit. Now we're going to add some text. Now as an example, I have a domain name called socialmedialaunch.com. I'm going to use this header for that website as an example. Social Media Launch. Now, I want this font color to be black, so I know offhand that the color code for black is all zeros. Great. Now, the select tool here to move this into place. Um, actually, the font I would like bigger, so select the font option. Select your text. Change the size. Mm, that's good. Okay. Now, actually, that might be a little big, right? So let's go back and resize that a bit. Um, I'm going to put it down to there. 40. Perfect. Now, we have the beginning of our template. Now, in the theme that I'm going to be using for the socialmedialaunch.com, it's a theme from uh, Studio Press, and I'm going to enable the right side header widgets. So, similar to the bloglaunch.com, um, on the header right, you see this here is a widget. So, if I'm going to make my header image to fit across here, and the widget is going to be the same as this widget if I use the same template. I want to ensure that any graphics I put on this side of my header on the right area are not going to interfere with these menu options, menu bar options, which are the categories in my blog right now. So I want to go back to this image here and I'm going to edit undo. Um, if it will let me, let me just see here, 
edit, undo, edit. Okay, so it's not going to let me undo the size. I'm just going to exit out of there. I don't want to save it, and I'm going to reopen it. Oh, I know why, because, uh, sorry, I was using the toolbar for the Chrome browser instead of the toolbar within the pixlr.com. So now I'm simply going to go back here, open the image once more. Oh, that's not it. Um, open image. We're going to browse and find the image we want to open. Great, there it is. Now I'm going to take my resizing tool here, my crop tool, and I thought it would be kind of cool if I cut the people out and I want to use this part for my header right area. So now let's size this down a bit. Um, that looks kind of smallish, but I think that might do. Let's again take the select tool. Um, will it let me know? I said that last time. Let's go edit select all. Edit copy. We'll go back to our header image. We'll add another layer. This time we're going to call the layer um, image 2. And we're going to make sure that layer is highlighted and we're going to paste. Edit, paste. There. So now I'm going to drag this over here. And I want to put it there so that, again, when I have this in my header right area, that it's not going to interfere with the eye, with the text that shows up in the right. I have a feeling that this is going to be a little bit too big. So I'm going to go back to this image here. I'm going to resize it again a little bit smaller. So it was at 240. Um, let's resize it to 200. And we'll select it again. We'll go here and put a new layer. We'll paste that copied image into that layer. We'll drag it over here on top of that. And then the layer that we named pick to, we'll get rid of that one. And I guess the name didn't take for pick two. That's okay. So we can just see which layer it is by. Oh yeah, it was image two, but it's not working. So pick one. Um, there, that's our new image. So we'll name that pick two. Pick two revision one because we already had one named pick two. Let's see more of our layers here. So what is layer seven is nothing. So we don't need that. Layer six. Oh, that's our new image. So what's this one? No, this is our new image. So see. Pick two. Layer six is the old, the larger image. So we'll delete layer six. Now, um, we'll delete that one. Layer two, we'll rename it to pick one, which I thought we did already, but I'm not sure why it's given us two layers every time we add a new one. I'm not sure, so we'll just delete that. Great, now we have our three layers. We have pick one, pick two, 
and our text layer. So now let's select pick two, put it up to the top right, like that. And now we're going to add a second text layer. We're going to uh, select the text tool and we're going to give it a title, a tagline, which is I'm going to say awesome social media tips just for the sake of this tutorial. We're going to make it a lot smaller and we're going to give it a gray scale color. So let's try um, all sixes is kind of a nice gray color. Now, that's still too large, so let's scale it down a bit. I like that size. Select tool to move it around. Um, I like right aligning my taglines. Of course, you can align it in any way that you want. And we'll save again. Make sure it's saved. We're going to save it as the pixelated layers. We're going to replace it because we already have that. Now, for this demonstration purposes, I want to show you how you can add an image, um, a shape to this header template. So let's go here and find our shape tool. And if you just hover over, it'll tell you what these tools mean. For an example, the fill tool, if you wanted your background layer to have a fill, you choose the fill color that you like. Select the fill tool, make sure your background layer is selected, and bam. Now I don't want to fill, so obviously I'm going to undo that. What I am looking for here is the shape tool, which is here. So now once I highlight the shape tool, I can select, do I want a circle, an oval kind of shape, or a square? Now let's decide that we want a square, and we want it across the bottom. Now let's drag it and put it over top of our pick one, and we can, I'll show you how you can do a transparency. So see, now it's over top of pick one. But no, I don't want it over top of pick one. I actually want it um, now where did it go here? Let's select this tool. Just delete layer nine. Now let's just go to edit undo, let's do edit undo, edit undo, there, so I don't know how that layer was working, pro it wasn't working properly, let's try it one more time, I, I, I just realized why, because I didn't add a new layer before I drew that square. So now let's rename this to square or rectangle, but anyhow, square is fine. Now we'll go select our shape tool once again, and we'll make a square inside the square layer. Okay. Let's do that. doesn't matter how big it is. It can overlap. Great, now we have the square. So say we wanted that square, we'll take pick one, which is our people, and put it under the square layer. There, great, that's what I wanted to show you, how to make this transparent. So now say you want transparency to show up. So you wanna be able to see the picture with the people a little bit through it. So if we bring our toolbar back up here, our tools, 
this here will give you more options for the layer. So see opacity. Let's make it a bit opacity to about 50-ish. 50. -ish. 50. Three. Okay. Now see, I can see the people. Now I can move this layer anywhere I wanted. But that was just um, for the purpose of showing you how to do that. I really don't want that layer on there, so I'm going to delete it. And that's it. That's how you can make a header image for your blog using Pixlr.